Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark, and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, just a quick little video today, a little bit of mail time. Just got it in. I have no idea what it is. I know what it's supposed to be, but let's see what it is. little UV curing light. All I needed was just a tiny one. Got the little UV lights in there. Should work good. Little flashlight that I made. And you should go check out the video for that. But the little flashlight I made works good. But sometimes you just need that little bit bigger. And a pair of safety glasses. Been waiting for those. I think this is the other pair. Why they shipped them in two different ones, I don't know. But they did. Because I ordered them at the same time. Yep. So, make sure you always wear your safety glasses when you're using any type of tool that's going to throw any type of debris around. Uh, this one's got a little bit of weight to it. My adapter for the lathe because I picked up the face plate. I'll have to show you guys that uh, later on, and there'll be another video. But yeah, this is just an adapter to go from one size. I believe it was three quarter to one inch. So that's good. So now that I've got uh, almost all the pieces that I was missing when I, when I got the lathe. Somebody gave it to me, and it was missing a couple pieces, so I had to order a few things. Now that I've got almost all of them, I can make a video about it. So, okay. Ah, bacon bond. This here, it's meant for kind of a glue for polymer clay. I've been working on some stuff. Now, of course, uh, the more I get used to it, I've never done it before. That type of clay, the polymer clay, you bake in the oven. And this here is for, it's a glue meant for that type of clay. So, of course, make sure you stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can see when I post videos of all these polymer clays. Of course, once I get the lathe going, yeah. nice little acrylic rod for rolling out the polymer clay. And it comes with this little uh, acrylic sheet. I'm assuming there's a protective layer on this. Yes, sir, there is. So it's got a little bit of a protective layer, so I'm not going to peel that off right now. I've been using a chunk of glass to roll it out, and I've got an aluminum one, aluminum uh, rolling pin, if you want to call it, I guess. 
It's a nice little acrylic rod and acrylic uh, sheet to roll on. So I'm hoping to start putting out stuff that has to do with the polymer clay. Got one more thing here. It's got a little bit of weight to it as well. And there it is. This here is a live center for the tailstock. It's got bearings in it so that it can free spin. It's also got a spring in it. So if you want to put this in the, uh, the headstock as well, it's got a uh, Morrison taper on it. I believe this was the size one. But yeah, you can put this in your live center as well because it's got the teeth on it. So when you tighten everything up, it pushes that in. This also will grab your wood or, or um, this will grab your wood or resin, whichever you're turning. It's not meant for steel. That here centers it up. So now I can do everything on the, uh, on the lathe. So I'll be starting to do some videos on that. There we go. That's what we got. Finally, some of this stuff was uh, reshipped because it was lost in mail. This stuff here, this stuff was lost in mail. This was a different order. Uh, there is still one other thing that's coming that was part of this order. And they had a shipping issue with my welding gloves. So I'm still waiting for them to come in, which should be around the 27th. And I just put in an order today for some firm clay, polymer clay, and a couple other things. <clears throat> also working on a uh, Hot Wheels style diorama. So like I said, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, check me out on Instagram and on my Facebook. Links are all in the description. Leave some comments on this or on the polymer clay or the uh, diorama. I'm sure I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So until then, later.